it's Tamara here from the travelingnatural.com. I'm back with another video. <laughs> Do I look a little different? Yes. So this video is about me shaping my head. Yeah, I was inspired by a new YouTuber that I started watching. I'll link her channel down below. She recently shaved her head too. Oh, I'm wearing my Invisalign, so I have a, a bit of a lisp. But she recently shaved her head too, and um, she posted about it. And I thought, oh, maybe I should post about my experience too. So yeah, so basically all summer, this past summer, I've been contemplating shaving my hair because I did not like the condition of my hair. It just seemed really unhealthy looking and not vibrant and shiny like it used to be it just looked dead and crusty and dry and no matter what products i used in it it just still looked the same every time i did my twist outs they just looked horrible and i just relied on wearing marley twist like extension twist and i normally would just wear that style or um, every wash day, I would just um, put my hair in twists and pin them up in like French braids or something like that. The most basic looking <laughs> Miss Sealy from the color purple hairstyle. So I got to the point where it was like, well, I'm not doing much with my hair. I'm keeping it in these protective styles and it's not growing or really changing the health of my hair. And my scalp was like really dry and just so bad, I decided maybe it's best just to shave it off. So yeah, so I did that. <laughs> I finally got the courage to do that. And I've cut my hair really low before. I've never like shaved it off bald. Well, with a little bit of hair. Um, and honestly, it was the best decision that I could have made because it just got to the point where I thought it doesn't make sense to keep putting product in my hair thinking the condition of my hair will change especially if my scalp health is also really unhealthy why not just shave it off and start over so that's what I did and I absolutely love it it's probably the best decision I've made of 2020 well one of them and it has made life so much easier so i shaved my head and i did record some of it so i'll put some clips in i went to lady clip lady clipper lady clipper barber salon or barber shop which is on u street in dc um yeah it was a good experience and <laughs> i'm so happy uh there is a picture on my vision board of a painting and I'll insert a clip of that too and even though it's just a picture of someone it's not like an actual photograph of someone when I saw it I thought oh my gosh this girl's afro this is how I want my hair to look so it's on my vision board like my art imitates life life Im imitates art so my <laughs> inspiration for like the perfect fro is from a painting. It's been such a great decision. It was weird because when I first cut it, which was October 12th or 13th, like those first two to three weeks, and actually still now, I had to keep my hair covered at night with like a beanie because my head was so cold all the time. And even when I go outside, I have to keep it covered. So I got one of those like grandma turbans that you can buy in the hair store. Um, also, the sun was like burning my scalp. So yeah, I have to keep my hair covered. Now I have, you know, some length. <laughs> I can like pick it up. Um, so it, I can go outside now without a hat, but I just like to keep it covered. Actually, and it's, you know, it's cold now in DC. So wearing a beanie is advantageous. Um, yeah, so it's has been such a good experience so far i don't know why i waited so long to do this i remember back in 2018 when i was trying to train for a triathlon that i never competed in 
my hair was such a struggle at that time and I ultimately just put it in Marley Twist, you know, extensions and that was annoying because I was swimming three times a week and so I was washing my hair three times a week because chlorine will damage your hair and it did damage my hair and that actually that was probably the start of when my hair started to become in such a deplorable state um yeah so I'm glad that I've cut it all off now and it's the least of my worries again which was one of the things that I wanted years ago when I first went natural was to not spend so much time worrying about my hair. Now I just make sure my scalp is conditioned um, and I use some good oils, keep it really simple. Um, I have been deep conditioning and it's just been so easy, especially right now in 2020 when life is so hmm yeah rough the last thing i want to worry about is my hair so i i just wanted to share that with you guys i know i've been a little absent i'm working on some other things um so it's kind of pulled me away from youtube youtube takes a lot of time and like hardly anyone watches my videos anymore so it's like i had to decide where i put my time and my energy but yeah i thought i would update about this haircut um, because I thought it would be weird if I just came back on and just started making videos again and didn't see anything. Like, yeah, I cut off all my hair. And as you guys know, my hair was pretty thick. It still is pretty. I brushed my hair, but it looks like I didn't even do anything. But it's at the point where, like, it's starting to curl up. Because you know your hair, well, my hair. I can actually show you a picture. Like, our hair. It's like a coil, you know? And so when I first cut my hair, there was nothing on my scalp. So the hairs were just like really short. But now it's like, it's at this point or like this point where it's starting to curl. So when I brush it, it's like straight for a second and then it's like, boop. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, I, I guess I could like try to make some waves or something like <laughs> the boys in high school. Uh, yeah, but I love it. Oh, also the other thing I wanted to update you guys on, as you might see from the title, I'm not crazy. Remember when Brittany like shaved her head and she had that moment maybe like 10 years ago? No, I'm not crazy. I really did see Noah's art. Did you know that in the middle of Kentucky, there is a giant replica of Noah's Ark? Yes. So I went with my mom about the end of October. It's something she's wanting, she's been wanting to do and like <laughs> travel is so crazy right now, but we took the necessary precautions wearing face masks, gloves, and I also wear a face shield. And we went and it was fine and it was amazing. If you are a Christian or if you are interested in history or just like stories of the past or Bible stories or just learning about other cultures, this was really cool. So there is a giant interpretation of Noah's Ark. They use the information that God gave Noah in the Bible on how to create the Ark and also information from like this ship making or shipbuilding mythologies from back then to create their interpretation of what the Ark would look like. And it was actually really cool. Um, I imagine that any normal time before pre-pandemic that this site would be heavily crowded. It was not <laughs> anywhere near that. And I felt really comfortable walking around. They had signs up about, you know, social distancing and things of that nature. But to walk through it was very cool. 
and I don't even know how to describe it. Basically, you're walking through a replica of the Ark, and so what was inside the Ark, well, if you know the story, God told Noah that he, his wife, and his family, like his three sons and their three, their wives, and a pair of every land and air animal should be inside this ark by the time I send the floods. So that's what you see. You see cages and cages and cages of different types of animals, which was cool. <laughs> insert some pictures you can look it up i'm sure there are youtube videos about it and other websites about it go on their website is called arc encounters it was great and also it was my first time in kentucky i don't think i've ever been in that part of america well illinois but it, it was completely different like i grew up on the east coast and I live in DC now, so this was last month, you know, bef during election time. So it's interesting to see, well, I think in, definitely Kentucky's a red state, so there were Trump-Pence signs everywhere. And um, some signs said, God, country, and guns, which was different. And I remember I saw a tractor trailer, a big white tractor trailer, and on the side of it in red letters was the word Jesus. I was like, wow, it's so different out here. We're definitely in a bubble in DC. Um, but it was cool to get out and see how, you know, other Americans are living. Kentucky was really beautiful and there's just a lot of land everywhere. And the sky, my mom kept pointing out how blue the sky was. It just, we had blue skies and sunshine every day. I think it rained once, but it was still a nice sunny day. Uh, we also went to Creation Museum, which I don't know the umbrella company that owns Ark Encounter, I forget, but they also own Creation Museum. And it was about a 45 minute drive from the Ark. And you can also buy a combo ticket so that you can see the Ark and go to the Creation Museum. Again, if you're not really interested in museums or learning about other religions or ideologies, it is not for you at all. And I didn't realize that that museum is actually the sister museum to the Bible Museum we have here in DC in the Southwest. I went to that museum with my mom maybe a few months after they opened and so yeah it, it, it was cool to connect all these dots. I love like uh, learning about history and different cultures and I love museums so that was fun for me. So yes, just an update. I shaved my head and I saw Noah's Ark. <laughs> if you guys are interested in checking out either the Ark or the Creation Museum, I will leave the link in the description box. I'll also leave the link to the barber shop I went to in DC. And if you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.